David from Rivals, every prospect that I've talked to says Coach Johnson is he lives, breathes, and eats hitting. And he's in the, the film room and changing things and all sorts of stuff. I'm fascinated to know what tips has he given you and what improvements or changes has he tried to help you make in your game as opposed to this time last year? Yeah, no, uh, Jay, obviously, like you said, he's uh, very big on offense. And uh, I'm really glad to see that. Um, Jay really hasn't, uh, you know, given me any – he's not really messing with my swing at the time right now. He's uh, kind of let me do my thing. And uh, if he sees something, then he kind of just tells me uh, at the moment. But right now, he's just letting me do my thing, get in the cage, get my swings off, and kind of just be the, uh, the hitter that I believe I am. Hey, Dylan, uh, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Good to see you again. Um, you know, I guess just, just talk about this offense, as, you know, in particular. I mean, you guys obviously bring in Jacob Berry and, you know, return Trey Morgan, Gavin Dugas. And, you know, just it seems like really one to nine, you guys have a really just solid, you know, kind of core group here. I mean, just uh, talk about the excitement level of where this offense can go next year. Yeah, no, I really believe that uh, we're going to have uh, one of the best lineups in the country for sure. Um, having Barry come over here. Uh, usually never happens, so we were we were blessed to have him come over here and uh, you know just ha have him be a part of this program and a part of this lineup. So I, I really think that having him come in and uh, kind of just puts the pieces together, and uh, you know I feel like this, like I said, this lineup is going to be uh, one of the best lineups in the country. Hey Dylan, usually with the new coaches, a lot of trepidation about guys and playing time, where do they stand, those kind of things. You, you're not really you know don't have to worry about that as much as maybe some. So. Um, I'm just curious, how did that process go for you with the new coach? And, and how excited were you when you realized that this team literally has a plan, it seems like, for everything, you know, individually, team, you know, as the season goes along, Coach Johnson? I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Yeah, no. I'm just curious, how excited were you when you realized that Coach Johnson has a plan for everything, like individual, team, oh, yeah. et cetera? No, he definitely has a plan for everything. Um, it's exciting because, you know, we get to work on one part of the game, um, pretty much, you know, break break down the parts and just work on that and kind of just master that side of the of the playing field. And, um, you know, once we master that, then we go to the next part. We just kind of break it down each and every day. And, uh, you know, that's what I like. And, and uh, he brings the energy and he's uh, very focused and has the right mentality to get to get to where we want to be uh, for the rest of the season, for the, for the whole season. Dylan, talk about the relationship you were able to build with Jacob this summer. How much did y'all just bring y'all closer? You maybe pick his brain a little bit. Hitters always like to pick each other hitters' brains. You know, just that relationship this summer, how beneficial was it for the rest of this season? Yeah, it was uh, very beneficial. Um, when I heard that he was coming over here or he pulled us or he, he was leaving Arizona, I had a good feeling that he was coming over here and following Jay and coming to being a part of this program. So I was really excited. So, you know, I, I, I knew he was a great hitter. Um, I saw it with my own eyes over at USA and, you know, I just, the, the things that he does with the bat is, uh, is very special. So, you know, I was just picking his brain the whole time and we got really close and he was picking mine and, uh, you know, it just kind of clicked right there. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to see what he can do for this program uh, in the season. Yeah, hey, Dylan, um, you know, obviously, you know, baseball comes first, and I'm sure you're pretty much focused on that. But just I wanted to get your thoughts on the, the NIL stuff. And, you know, you, obviously you guys now have an opportunity to make a little money. Um, just, just what are your thoughts on that and just kind of how it could, you know, help college baseball in the future? I mean, obviously, you know, with guys, you know, maybe not accepting signing bonuses and coming to school and still getting some money. Yeah, no, that's a, a great opportunity for us, for sure. Um, I'm really excited about that, actually. Um, you know, like I said, it's a great opportunity for us to get our name out and uh, kind of, you know, collab with some other some brands and, you know, uh, you know, uh, view their brands and have their brands, you know, put out there more. And like, like I said, puts, at, puts, puts us out there more. So, you know, I'm really excited. Um, I don't have anything right now cooking up, but uh, maybe in the future I will. Yeah, that was going to be my question. I guess, do you, do you like the fact that your season didn't start, so you kind of get to see how it can unfold for everyone else? And, and I don't, 
Is my mic not working? Do you like that you're able to see how it kind of unfolded for the football and how it worked for basketball before you guys get your season going? Do you feel like that gives you an advantage for playing your NIL strategy? Yeah, no, I uh, I was excited to see how it worked out for the uh, the football team and the basketball team. Uh, you know, it was, I saw what they did with uh, with their brands, and you know, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm excited to uh, for for our season to come up in the spring, so we have that same opportunity. Dylan, back to your summer experience with uh, with Jacob with the, with the USA team. I'm not sure exactly how y'all hit in the lineup, uh, but th does your your mind start to wonder, like thinking about the prospects of what could be, you know, whether y'all hit behind one another and just how you could feed off each other and just, I know there's a lot of work to do between now and, and March, but just do you start like thinking that this could be pretty, could be pretty a lot of damage here? Yeah, um, I feel like this lineup can go either way. I mean, you could put this lineup upside down, flip us all around. Um, I don't think Jay will do that, but um, I think you can put this lineup either, uh, however you want and it's going to, you know, it, it'll, it'll produce. But just like you and Jacob specifically, just to be able to, you know, again, I don't know if he hits in front of you, you hit in front of him, but just you start to think like this, I, I could get used to this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I could definitely get used to it for sure. I'm really looking forward to, you know, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if he's going to hit in front of me. I don't know if I'm going to hit behind him. Um, but I feel like whatever way that Coach Jay puts us in, uh, we're going to produce and, you know, we're just going to we're going to hit and do what we do best. Hi, Dylan. I'm Leah. I'm with The Advocate. Um, how, like, what are some goals you have going into this, like, fall ball, and how important is it to have fall ball? I'm not sure what circumstances y'all um, prepared last year. Yeah, I, uh, I believe fall ball is very important for our game. I think that it helps us work on our craft more, um, you know, get to see more, see more live pitching, get in the, into more game-like situations. Um, some personal goals I have is just I want to be a better outfielder. I want to be, you know, faster. Um, I've been working on that every day, just, you know, getting some reps on the outfield. Um, yeah, so I just, I just want to be a better outfielder and potentially, hopefully, you know, win a gold glove. Hey, hey Dylan, um, you know, I, I don't know how much live pitching you've been able to face this this fall, but just where are some of your early impressions of this pitching staff? I know there's obviously a lot of rolls up for grabs, you know, heading into next spring, just, um, you know, what, what are your early impressions of all those guys? Um, I think we ha we have a great pitching staff for sure. Um, um, I mean, everybody's got some great stuff. We got some guys transferring over here. Got some new freshmen, and uh, our guys from last year are developing into great pitchers. And um, I'm really I'm really uh, excited to see what uh, Coach Kelly does to to help our pitchers out and and uh, you know you know see what they become at the end of the day. So. Sorry, just a, a quick follow-up. Is there anybody in particular from last year that you've seen kind of make a big jump? Anybody that's kind of sticking out? Um, a lot of the guys. Uh, Ty Floyd has been been really well. He's been his ball's been jumping out really great. He's been producing. He's developing from a lot from last year. Um, guys like Mikhail, Mikhail, Devin, all those guys. Um, really looking forward to see what they what they, what they can do this year. Anyone else?